cellulite, how I deal with it. Life sounds like Hello Liveleads, I hope you are having a wonderful day today. So I wanted to talk about cellulite because this was a very, very shameful part of my body for years. And I will just say it right away, I still have it. I worked, I tried to work really hard to not have any cellulite and get rid of cellulite, but you know what, it never really happened for me. And through all the dieting and the restriction and starving myself and high intensity workouts and you name it, cleansing, I always had cellulite. And I'm not saying that it's impossible for you to get rid of, I'm not saying that at all, but I really did have to get serious with myself and ask myself if restricting myself that much was worth not having it. Or if the few glasses of wine with my girlfriends every once in a while or ice cream here or there is is worth it and I really I got to the point where I was like okay it's it's fine it's worth it I'll deal with it but a really great tool that I use for my wildly alive weight loss clients is all about sending love into that area now this may sound a little bit out there but if you've ever seen the movie what the bleep do we know it's all about quantum physics and neuroscience I'm totally geeked out about this stuff because it just proves what I am teaching in science. I mean, there is scientific proof with everything that I teach now through quantum physics and neuroscience. And so um, they talk about something called Emoto's water crystals. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It's incredible. It's amazing. And it's all about how there's energy behind everything. There's energy in water. There's energy in writing. There's energy in your thoughts. And he goes to actually prove that with um, water molecules. Google it, it's amazing. So what I would like you to do if you have cellulite and you absolutely hate it, or maybe you hate your stomach or you hate your arms or just pick a body part that you don't necessarily love, I want you to try this little exercise. And I want you to draw a heart on it. So as you're drawing a heart on it, I want you to just send love to that area. And I know this sounds really out there, but I'm telling you that it works. And then as you go about your day, I want you to remember that little black heart that you put on your legs. And maybe even put a little heart on your hand to remind you, oh yeah, I'm sending love to my legs right now. Because truthfully, your legs are doing amazing things for you every single day. It's getting you up and down, you're able to walk around, you're able to do so many things without your legs. Have you ever thought what it would be like to not have legs at all? Right, and so it's really about putting it into perspective. Any body part that you don't love, including your cellulite, your butt, wherever, draw a cute little black heart, maybe even a black heart on your your hand to remind you, and send love to that part. In the comments section below, I wanna hear two things from you. Number one, where are you going to put your black heart? And number two, why you're grateful for that body part. I love connecting, I love chatting, I love to spread the body love, so make sure you comment below. If you like this video, please like it and share it with one of your favorite girlfriends because this stuff is oh so good. And as I say every single week, if you're not having fun, it's your own damn fault. (laughs) See you next week. Bye. In today's free coaching video, we're going to be talking about why you're not losing weight, and it's probably not what you're expecting. In today's free coaching video, we're going to be talking about foods for weight loss. Stay tuned.